um, Christine Sajeki to do her cranky based on a short story. Hello. <laughs> um, thank you very much. <laughs> Has no one ever made that joke before? No. Um, so this is my first ever cranky. Um, I, Kathy Fahey turned me on to doing this and um, it was a lot more intense. That I mean as soon as I started and then 60 feet of paper later and hundreds of hours. I only really animated one page of the story. So um, <laughs> you will want to finish the story. It's a great story by Laura Vandenberg, who has a new novel coming out in February. But um, Amanda McCormick of Ink Press Productions, um, she'll be reading the story, but she also made a, a handmade letterpress book that you can buy in the lobby after the show. Um, she'll be reading from that now. <laughs> this is Amanda McCormick. Um, so. Enjoy, thank you. Cannibals, written by Laura Vandenberg. Animated by Christine Sajeki. The cannibals loved music. They found their instruments, a ukulele, an oboe, and a French horn. At a Salvation Army and paid for them with a dozen human teeth. They kept these teeth in leather pouches, like change purses, that hung from the khaki shorts my father had given them. At the Salvation Army, the cashier had stared down at the teeth spread across the counter and started to cry. <laughs> All three of the cannibals had cradled the instruments in their long arms and looked at my brother and me like they wanted us to explain, but we didn't know where to begin. We didn't understand why our neighbors complained so much about the music, or at least why they complained about it more than the occasional femur in the front lawn or the stench of burnt skin that wafted over the backyard fence. Miss Hamilton, who lived next door and had a speech disorder that made her talk like a, with a German accent, would sometimes stand on a stepladder and peer over the fence and say, what are you cooking over there, wild yak? But the thing Miss Hamilton and those like her hated most was the music. Once, the cannibals held a concert in the backyard I wore a dress patterned with sunflowers. My brother put on penny loafers and a bow tie. I found an olive colored umbrella in the hall closet and pretended it was a parasol. The cannibal's songs didn't have lyrics. They were a clash of string and wind punctuated with blasts of French horn. During the concert, Miss Hamilton had rounded up a gang of neighbors and they all called the police, who slapped the cannibals with a noise citation. The cannibals offered human teeth to the police and were threatened with handcuffs. When everyone was gone, they handed me the citation. 
They had the same look in their eyes as they did in the Salvation Army, desperate for someone to explain. I was only 12, but the document seemed clear enough. This costs money, I said. Real money. $206. You can't pay with those stupid teeth. <laughs> I passed the citation to my brother, who was 10. The neighbors have a point about the music, he said.